Let's see the Jovan Kajic from Gran Canaria. Barcelona, but I've had a really good tournament so far. Um, how do you think you've played out here? Uh, the most important is the team, and we play so far good. Today game is doesn't matter. We are focused for tomorrow, for tomorrow game, for the semi-finals, semi-finals. We made the finals. You're one of the younger guys here, uh, one of the youngest on the team for sure, but you know, it seems like they rely on you quite a bit. You, you have a very mature game. Um, where does all that come from, that, that maturity at such a young age? Uh, what to say, just a lot of work and a lot of practice, and that's it. So you're from Montenegro, um, and, and you're going to be able to represent your country this coming summer in Montenegro. Uh, what, what is that experience going to be like for you? Yeah, it will be very exciting. I'm very excited because that was, that is, I think, the first that we are the, like the homemates and I think it will be a very, very good experience for us. So, how did you end up in Gran Canaria? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your background and kind of how you got here? Uh, first, I was like in tournament in Slovenia and after that, that is the unofficial tournament for U14. And after that, Gran Canaria offered me to come. I came for the test and I liked it and I came there and now I'm playing here. So, what, what is your situation with Gran Canaria? Are, are you expecting to you know, be here for a few years? What, what's your goal for the next few years? I, I know, really. I think they offer me for the first team. I will be for sure for the first team. If not, I will be looking for maybe college or something like that. So yeah, you see, you see more kids going to the states even um, for college. So that's an option for you. Yeah, I've been in the United States this January, and I I've been there three months. I I had offers for the three schools, high schools, and I know it's it's very good. But I decided to play this. So what were the high schools? Uh, I had offer for Pennsylvania, the Hill School, yeah, then the Sierra Canyon for Los Angeles, and I can't remember the name of the children. It's, they are very good schools. Great. So what, what is it about, uh, you know, potentially going to college that intrigues you? I, I don't know really. I, I just decided to, uh, to work hard and maybe to study because for me, first is the most important is the education, then after you play basketball. What are your biggest strengths as a player right now? Right now, I think uh, my shot. And what about areas you're still trying to improve? I'm trying to improve my quickness and uh, a lot of work. I need to work on the legs. Do you see yourself more, you're playing some two, even some point guard? I know at the U16 you played with the ball a lot. You showed kind of your passing. Do you see yourself as more of a one or a two long term? Yeah, I don't know. I, I just I, I play like a shooting guard and I I can dribble the ball and that is what I do when I was the young and that's I get used to it. Do you know what your your height and weight and wingspan are right now? Oh uh, yeah, I have two two one wingspan and one ninety seven height. Okay, and your weight? Weight I think uh, ninety eight nine like that. Okay. So how what year in school are you then? How many years you have left? Uh, I know. I know 15, that is like the first year of the high school. So you would be a class of? 2020, I think. Okay, yeah. yeah. And did, did your parents play? Uh, my father played basketball, and my brother is playing for that school, Sierra Canyon in Los Angeles. Oh, really? He is now the senior year, and he will now finish to graduate. And is he committed to a school, or is he? Uh, he's playing basketball, and he's going to school. He, he College? Good for the good colleges and I don't know who will play that.